Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday. Woohoo! Tuesday, Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes. Hi, everybody. This is going to be a live video uh, craft show chat room. Uh, we will be doing some arts and crafts for adults because we use needles and heat guns and scissors and sharp tools. So, um, uh, we, so if you're watching this at a later time, you can zip through the boring parts to get through the fun parts. In the meantime, I will be interacting with the chat room because uh, that's how we do it. It's a chat show. I will be uh, talking back and forth with them, and uh, we're going to act, and, <laughs> and we're going to act as goofy as possible. So, if we can, we can do that. So, hi everybody. Hi, Latia. You're number one. Patty's number two. And Janice is number three. Woohoo, girls. Hi. And there comes Janet. Sliding in the fourth. <laughs> hi, guys. How are you today? There's Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello, hello. It's Thursday. We're going to fail tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> We get to felt something. I think we're going to felt try to felt this, and then we're going to paint it in the in the white book. We're going to do them both. And if you all, if, unless you protest, now if you protest and you want another picture, I will be glad to do another picture in the book. You know, but I wanted to pick this one because <laughs> I know a page I want to put it on. So. I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Are you talking more about the swap? Kathy, we uh, were doing a felting swap. And it's already in progress. Uh if you if you are wanting I don't know if are you felting or do you want to do happy mail? Can you tell me a little bit about what you want to do in a swap? And I'll try to find you a partner tonight. I was just in the happy mail swap. You were just in the happy mail swap. Okay. You you did it. Didn't you do it with Brian? Right. Okay. But didn't you trade with Brian? You're supposed to be sending happy mail to Brian and Brian to you. If my memory serves me, serves me correctly. And you know, I can't remember a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you two should be swapping. As soon as you get your uh, little packet together. Uh, send, him, send him some craft things. And he, he likes to craft. So, so send him some neato stuff. Yeah. Just an envelope. Nothing major. Nothing. <laughs> oh, I was going to. Any time, any time in the next week would be great. Can you do it this week or weekend by Monday? Or you know, I was given uh, the first two weeks of, of February for you, so we're already in the first week. So if you can get it out by next week, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, the mail, you know, is 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 what it is. The mail is what it is. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I will be, um, if we have enough time, we're going to go, go in here and, and I'm going to, I've already started the McCoy fish. And um, so if we have enough time tonight, I will work in this book, The Passion for uh, Japan. And the first thing I want to do is some felting. And then I'm going to, uh, we're going to felt this little, this little group. And, uh, and then there's a page in here that I want to paint it in. And uh, and I did, um, I broke down my, my book today and I made it wider on the base. I made it about uh, twice as wide. And so I did that today. I've been in my room for a while doing some stuff. But there's a silhouette of a bird back here. And uh, see if I can find it real quick ha, or not. I could just do a flip through. Hi, Joe. Ah. This bird here. And I Ooh. wanted to paint. That's these. a parakeet. 
it's a puffin. puffin and I wanted to paint these two lovebirds over here to match. Well, my my shoulder is quiet. <laughs> it's quiet right now. She's in shock treatment. And for some reason, when I'm sitting on this stool, I have a stool that I'm sitting on. Uh, if I sit up straight, I, I'm kind of it's in low 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 pain. I've pulled a muscle in my shoulder, and it's a sprain strain. And you know your shoulders. I used to work in a chiropractor's office, so I kind of know a little bit what I'm talking about. But your shoulders are very, very hard to heal because you always use your arms. You use your arms to drink coffee, to eat, you know, to wash your hands, wash your face. You use your hands in every job you do all day long. You use your hands. When you use your hands and your arms, you're using your shoulder blades. <laughs> They're connected. I totally understand. And your neck. And when you run the sweeper, you know, it not only throws my low back out, it hurts my shoulders. But uh, I've pulled a muscle in my shoulder, and uh, I have a little bit of a pinch. And right now, it's quiet. And uh, Joe has been taking good care of me. He really has. He's... Uh, Every time she runs the vacuum sweeper, I get a lower <laughs> back problem. I don't know why. Hi, Joy. Everybody coming in. <laughs> So I don't run the sweeper. He's he's got a Kirby sweeper, and it's a it's a giant dinosaur, and uh, it's self propelled, but you still have to fight with it to get it to come back, and you have to. It's just a big, it's a big heavy cumbersome sweeper. Hi, Allison. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Yeah, great to see you all here. Glad everybody's here. So anyway, uh, he runs the sweeper, and I do have a history of a low back injury, and and it, as long as I don't do any of the sweeping, Hi, and even so much so much as making the bed will throw my back out. <laughs> I'm just in poor shape. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Welcome, honey. Glad to see you. Hi, Janet. So anyway, we are going to we're going to felt this first. And then we're going to paint it over here. Now we have two versions of this. There's one that has just the silhouette without the flowers. And it would look good over here. It really would look good. I won't have to do any of the, the blues. I just would do the white moon. And then I would paint the silhouette in the, in the white. It would be. I think it's going to be fairly easy to do. And this one is the same way. I would do the white in the middle, which is the moon. And then I would paint this, the, the tree with the flowers. But I've picked this one out. Did you see Allison's angel? Yes, I did, Allison. Thank you so much. That was such a sweet comment. Uh, Allison did a, a painting the other day. Um You'll have to tell me where you saw it, where you did it. If it was on Facebook or Instagram, I'm thinking maybe Instagram. Um, and she painted an angel because I painted an angel. And that was neat. And I, I do have intentions of painting some more angels. I do have more angels. Let's see if I can find some of them. Instagram. It was Instagram. Okay. And here's, a, here's some more of my angels that I have pictures of. And these inspire me to want to make do some more angel work okay, okay. there's one oh, those are beautiful. there's uh, one that would be wings. pretty this mm -hmm. one would be pretty with real lace yeah it almost looks and like use family either lace or a stencil but i'm i want to do real lace and paint her and put real lace on her that's a perfect body and head and isn't that pretty yes, i is. i don't know i found it on the internet and here's another little painting, a wispy angel. Oh, wow. Mm. And uh, she would look pretty with real feathers. I do have some real feathers. So, uh, she got a halo and thing. here's another little angel woman. Oh, and yeah. she's cute. And I do have angel stamps, wings. I've got wings for uh, stamps. I could even do that, get those out. But these are some of my angels. And if you don't want me to paint the lovebirds, I can do one of these guys tonight. I'm a, I'm up for anything you all want to do. 
but these are some of the angels that I, I downloaded on my phone so that I can uh, look through and, and do. So, uh, but I'm going to felt the, I'm going to felt the lovebirds. I'm going to felt them. Hi, Janice. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Here There's from another you. one. This is a different one. Yeah, lovebirds. Felt to felt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that was great, Allison. Out of your head is the best way to paint because you're freeing, you're freeing your talent, and it was pretty. Yes, it was. So, um, anyway, uh, hi, Mina. Mina's here. Uh, so, uh, I will go ahead and and I'm gonna. This is gonna be for in a in a few minutes. And I was going to put it. I'll use this for my bookmarker. <laughs> I, I, mean, uh, I can find it. I can find that real fast. <laughs> good to see you and hear from you. So here's my book that I did with the journalings by fives. And I wanted to do a Coptic stitch real quick. And at least get one of these holes done. Wouldn't that be nice? And these are all little things, little guys. I don't think they're going to be long enough. So I'm going to have to get some thread out. You see my new glasses, girls? <laughs> I'm, I'm still having a hard time looking through them and, you know, reading. But Joe's got his cat eyes on. <laughs> He's being silly, I'll guys. Put, I'll, I'll put them on and I can't see Mean it. I just got him. home from... Six month checkup by the oncologist and all clear. Woohoo, Mina! Woohoo! Cool beans. That is awesome news. Okay. Um. So anyway, what I'm going to do here is um. This should be enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one whole one set of this Coptic stitch. If I do one set, I will eventually get this get this done. That's my that's my uh, goal. If I could just find a darning needle, I'd be made in the shade. Guess I'll have to use a pointy one. It's probably in there somewhere in my socks. Darning your socks? Uh -huh. Well, you know how I darn your socks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've told you all about that. Hi, Melissa. So Hi, anyway, Melissa. I'm calling this my altered Coptic stitch. And it's just somebody's name that uh, started doing the Coptic stitch. And um, once you once you do the Coptic stitch, uh, there's several var variations that you can do and and there's you know you can you can do a little variation but the idea is to get some thread around your holes but the knot is not going to be on top it's going to be on this back edge of the paper back here on the edge of the paper this the uh, when you you're going to tie one little slip knot there and it's going to be on the back side. So when you open the pages, they be they'll open flat. So the first thing I do is get me some get me about three three lengths of your page is all you need. I always like to do four. That's doubled. So there's one, two, three, four, and that way I have tails. So I can put beads on my tails because I love to put beads on my spines and my, my books. So you're going to go into the first hole and you're going to tie. Um, I'm going to tie a knot at the end of this. I think Jada's on. Is Jada in here? Hi, Hi Jada. Jada. Hi, Jada, baby. Hi, Jada, baby. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to go through the, the, where's my knot? There it is. And I'm going to create a little loop so that this doesn't come off of the page. And it's going to be on the back of the page. So wherever your knot is, that's where you want it to be, on the back 
side on the very side of this page okay so then you're going to flip this one to you and it's the same thing over and over and over so you go through the next page and you want to go through the through between your threads and you create another little slip knot that's all you're doing and you 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 uh tug them together to where they're next door like that and then you want to turn the page and then your slip knot is on on this edge over here on the back on the back oh, it's, it's the edge of the spine mm -hmm. so you're going to go through the next hole and you're going to do through and make another slip knot through go between the threads and put these two together you gently tug it till they're side by side and now i've got three pages done and all of the slip knots are on the back of the spine right on this edge so then when you open this page up from now on it'll always be flat because the knots are on that on that edge they're not in the middle over here and they're not going to put any stress on your holes and there are several ways that you can do this people teach it differently i know that tanya mcguire has a video on the coptic stitch and i believe hers is the correct way and i don't remember uh, how to do the correct way it might be the way i'm doing it and it might not be but i'm very close <laughs> i'm very close to doing it so i say altered uh, slip knot just to make it political po polit politically correct so this is this is where you you're binding a book together and i just used the three hole punch uh system and i'm going to tug that together to make it close and go into the next page same thing you go into the into the next hole and then you're going to go through the and go through your between your threads between your threads And um, and you want to tighten that up to where it's side by side. The slip knot is on the edge, and it's the same thing over and over. And this will make a really cute binding for this book. And uh, Mary Altier did this game called Journaling by Fives, and there are 20 pages in this book. And this is where the these pages came from. It was by doing a game. Um, she has it on a hop. And if you go to the Mary Altier's uh, page, um, her channel, she will have journaling by fives. And it was done just last month. And she had, uh, I guess she had a slew of girls doing it. And um, they were all online together and they set the timer and we had 15 minutes for for five different prompts we i got five different prompts on each one of these pages uh the first one was color the second one was gluing down some uh recycling gluing down papers and things uh one was doodling and one was marking and words one was words and then you had a focal image and she was my focal image and and we only had 15 minutes to do eat 20 different pages for each prompt and it's a fun game and it was invented by shannon green uh who is a uh long-standing uh youtube video uh person and she's been she's been she's been doing she's one of the uh the original people that started doing youtube she was she's been around hi melissa melissa's married yeah yes we're going to do art today i'm getting ready to do my felting next i want to get through these pages one time and then uh i've got i've got to clean my desk off <laughs> that's the only way i'm going to get it done if i do it with you guys and uh so but anyway it's real easy to do it's there's no mess no fuss about it it's really simple and you're just sewing the pages together 
and you interlocked it by going through the middle of the threads. It's a double thread. And uh, you snug it up on the other side so that all of the all of the little knots are on the edge of this paper right here. And you can see it going. It makes a little chain uh, stitch. And it, it's really kind of cute when you, after you get it all done and you do it all the same way, you can really see it. Am I getting there, Joe? Mm -hmm. But you can see all the little knots right here right that there. they're all mm -hmm. together. And there's all of your pages together. And I'm binding. I'm, it's, a, it's a type of book binding. And it's just easy. You just put it through the hole, put it through the loop, and tug it tight. Melissa says she had an ear infection. Oh, ew, no, that's not fun, Ellis. Well, that hurts. I know it. You've got medicine in it now. Is it better? Teresa's is not going to be with us tonight. She's got, uh, she's got a cold or something going on with her. So she, uh, she, she took some medicine and was going to bed. So we want to say uh, hi, Teresa, in the chat, and <laughs> hope you feel better soon. She might be watching on her phone. Uh, this is the time of the year. People, the between the cold and the the dry air outside and yeah. the air being on. If you haven't got a, uh, it's a good time to catch a cold. Yeah, I woke up. I had a little bit, little tiny sore throat. I think that we just have dryness. We need to get yeah. the humidifier out, maybe. Yeah, I do have my little uh, mister going in the bedroom. It's a diffuser, but it puts out it it uh, it uses a uh, half a cup of water through the night. Better than nothing. So I used to have when I was young. I used to have a lot of earaches, um, and I can remember I was 17 years old, and I was um, working at the hospital. I started working at St. Mary's Hospital when I was 17, and I worked on the pediatric floor. I hope you feel better, Melissa. And I went home one day with two earaches. And I went to bed, and my mom thought, oh, my gosh, but one is bad enough. Two is <laughs> wild. So I ended up going to the ear doctor, and, and he said that my ears were scarred. And it, it's probably from childhood earaches. Right. Um, but he said my ears had scars on both mm -hmm. eardrums. And uh, he gave me some real heavy medicine to take for my earaches. Mm. And... Uh, it took about two, two or three days to get better. Now this one's I, I got two pages, so I'm going to undo it. What are you starting about? What are you starting about? <laughs> huh? You got an earache? Huh? Yeah. Somebody's so, always talking about you. You ought to have an earache. Yeah. Abby's snorting. Take one of these off. Of so. Uh, Oh, it feels good on me. I was having a little hot flash. But earaches are no fun. And my mom used to fix up um, uh, a, she would get a, a, a butcher towel that was real fine. It, the butcher towels are finer, finer than your um, terry cloth towels. And she she had a, a some kind of a butcher towel that was real dense in in the in the stitching or the fibers on it, and she'd fill it full of salt, and tie a rubber band around it, and make and then she would sit the salt um, in the towel in the bottom of a of a pan on the stove to warm the salt, and then she would put that on my ear, and oh, that felt so good having that warm compress. Now that's how we used to do it back in the old days. <laughs> now we have heating pads.
And we used to have uh, sweet oil when we yeah. were kids. Well, we got sweet oil, too. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah. And, and we also used, um, I don't know that you can even buy it anymore, but we also used a pine oil. And, um, and I don't, I don't think they sell it anymore. I think it's, uh, yeah. um, I don't know why, but they, I don't think you can buy pine, pine oil anymore, but it cured everything. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't have a, a, a cut or something and use pine oil, <laughs> that was the thing to do. That was the thing to use. I've just got one more stitch and then we're going to go on to the felting. And all I'm going to do. With this last stitch, I'm going to follow through, do the very same thing I've been doing, and uh, go through the middle of these threads. Jan says you and, still get that sweet oil. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can still buy sweet oil. So here's my last of the, um, the stitches on this Coptic stitch. And there's all my stitches. And you can see I went through it very fast. And you can see there's a couple of them that are more that weren't as tight as they should be. And that's why you got the little variation in the spaces. Oh, but yeah. we're not going to cry about that. Hi, Sharon Lumbar. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the ends and I'm going to tie a knot on my ends so that it doesn't come apart. Glad to hear from you. And I did not leave these tails very long. So the next one, uh, I could always tie some some uh, more thread on here if I want longer tails uh, for tassel or something. Yeah, so how many so pages do you have there? About 12? There's, there's 20, 20 white pages and then there's a front and a back. So there's 22 pages 22 that I just did pages. the Coptic stitch on and it took me, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. So if I do that every time, I'll have this finished <laughs> three more times. So we'll work on that again later. But there it is. Now, yeah. the next thing we're going to do is we're going to felt. And, and I'm going to either do this one. I kind of like that one. Pick it out, four girls, or we'll be here all night. Which this one. Do you one do? Oh, I live here, don't I? Or this one. <laughs> That's the nice one. So you all tell me which one you want. Sure, we're doing just Here's, fine. This is number three. This one's number two. And this one's number one. Oh, this is a different one. That's oh my gosh, there's another one. There's another one. You all just better just tell me number two. Okay, that's the one I originally picked. We can still do some of these others. I mean, I mean, I'm doing one every every Thursday. So, and I love doing it. Love it. Number two. So all I need now, and I need my little uh, Joe. Yes. Right behind the fan and the guitar. Uh -huh. Open that. Move those two out of the way, and you can get my. Oh, never mind. I've got. I've got this. I've got all this. Never mind. I got. Oh, okay. Here's my wool. So, uh, I do have more wool in the in the thing. So here's what I've already done. I did the snowman. Easy, Joe. Hey. Yes. Shh. And here's my ballerina angel. I'm going to have to call him down. And here's my other angel. <laughs> you all better help me. Get in here and help me. And so tonight, let's see. I think I want to, I could get a black or a dark blue. Well, I'll just do it on the green. I'm, I, could just, I can just show you how to do it on any collar. Any color whatsoever. We'll do it on the green. So I need some blue and white for and some blue. I've got this blue. <laughs> take them out. I'm take them out. That's what I asked her. Oh, well, go ahead and do it. I told her not to bark. I take her out. Okay. Take take her. 
They don't know. They're just dogs, Joe. Take them dogs than, out. My dogs are smarter than you think. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, I didn't get to say hi to Susan. Well, say hi. Hi, Susan. <laughs> hello, everybody that I haven't said hello to. Hello, Balcony. Do y'all have popcorn tonight? I'm going to have to get popcorn and bring popcorn one night. <laughs> and then there's these these uh, flowers, and they're kind of pinky peach. Oh. They're kind of a peachy, peachy, a pink with some peachy in it. So I'm going to get those two out. And definitely got to get some black out and some green. Now, where's my green? Do I have any lime green? I've got this green. I know I got this green. I've got this green and I've got some of this green. I can play with the greens. I don't see any other greens. Oh, I got some dark green. Oh, I got some light green. Okay. I don't see any any of the limey green. I did have this all sorted out like a like a rainbow at one time. I did. <laughs> I don't know where the this is an orangey brown, so I'll put it over here with the oranges and the reds and the yellows go over here. And the pinks and the purples. There's some more red. Put it back over here. And then there's some brown. So it should go at the end somewhere. The purple. I'll put it in the middle. I'll put it in the middle. That way it's easy to find what I want. Okay. And I do have more collars over there in the closet. So here's the brown. Don't need the brown. I'll put it over here with the rest. All right. That ought to do is get us started. So the first thing I want to do is to make my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the blue and the white circle. And um, the way I do it is I draft off a little bit and I'm going to go in a circle. I draft off a little bit and I lay it down and I'm going to try to make a circle here. And I'm going to go in one direction with my with my uh, my pulls. When you pull it off like this, you get a you get a little bit of a line there, and you can lay the the, the light ones on top of the last one. And I'm gonna get to do these again, so I can get a pretty pull. So you you piggyback them, the tails. Like that. So this is going to be my circle. And I can do more than one layer. I can do more than one layer. So there's, there's the start of our circle. And now I just need to get my needle. And... Uh, um, this is just the first layer. The second and third layer, I will probably do it about three times. I'm going to get a real, a real, a real swirl going here. I'm getting a swirl going. So, any questions or anything? Everybody okay? Everybody saying hello? Things get muddled so quickly. Uh, Tammy, Candy, Janice, Mina. Hello, hello. Going to lurk now. Mina's going to lurk. Okay. She's going to turn her phone so she can get the biggest picture and watch. She's going to lay on the couch. <laughs> Rest, Mina. Uh, are you knitting, Nina? Are you going to be knitting? I don't knit. I wish I knew how. Just sitting and listening. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, Susan. Pretty picture. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to go around and around and around. And you can use your needle to uh, to scoot a few light uh, of some of the yarn or wool. You can use your needle to uh, help sort of comb it around. But you don't want to do it real hard because you will break your needle if you do that too vigorously. So you have to be very, very careful. And you will learn when you break a needle, then you understand. <laughs> you don't want to break your needle. And I'm I've been I've been pretty good about uh, not breaking too many of them. Now I'm going to go out on the outer rim of this of this part. I'm going to draft off some wool, and we'll go this direction. Lay it down. Lay it down. I'm kind of going on the outside of that other one. I have my fan going. <laughs> it's blowing everything. That's all right. I'm doing all right. We need a little bit more right there. And I'm going to kind of push it towards the outside. I am making the outer swirl of the moon. And um, this just goes to show you, you can use any color of felt. And I'm using a green. I've got black, but I'm just using a green. And it's going to be fine. And you're just going to lightly felt. Just be real careful with your needle. Now, I do have some other needles that I can use that I might go ahead and get out just to show you how to use them. There, I've got one a needle with more than one needle in it. I've got one that has three. And then I have another one with seven. And I can show you my needles. This one was given to me by Teresa Church, and uh, and one of the needles is missing. I need to put another needle in there. But you can you can do this and felt seven times faster than with the one. See, I'm but now I have to be very careful when I go down. I have to come up uh, the same direction. I can't just go off to the side. I've got to go straight up. If I, if I go in at an angle, I have to come out at an angle. If I go in up and down, I have to come out up and down. Or you will break your needles. And then I have another one that I bought. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. And it's got uh, six or seven needles in it. These are the smaller needles. And this is good for when you're towards the end of your project and you want to make sure you got everything down real good. It has a protector, so I push it, it pushes up when I push the needles in and it protects my needles from breaking, you know, in the case and stuff like that. And it's kind of a safe way to use this one. It's like a little punch and uh, you can go real fast with it. If you're in a hurry. And I always have to tell the story. If you break a needle. Rule number one. Is you've got to find the broken part. And tape it with the other broken part. And tape them together. And dispose of them safely. Now this one just has the three needles. And I like this one. Um, I just like the crunch <laughs> that this um, craft has. It has a there's a crunchiness to it, and this one seems to be real easy, a lot easier than the other ones. But you know, you you have to take your time. You can't go as fast with those bigger ones. 
And then I have another one that holds just a single needle. needle. And uh, Teresa and, uh, and I think Colleen Kravis, I mean, uh, Colleen uh, Gravis uh, gave me some of these things. And uh, I think Sharon gave me this. And this is a little comb. <laughs> so if I had a little something I wanted to comb out, uh, I could use this little comb. And I thought that was really, really cute. So I keep it in my tools. This is my little, my little extra needles and uh, my and my tools. And then these are the finger cots that you get so that you don't uh, accidentally poke your finger if you want your finger to be close to your object, like this. If you want to do the, then I've got this to protect me. But now I can go through this with a needle. But it's sort of, you just have to be gentle. Just be gentle with your needle and your pushing. Don't get too aggressive. And you, and this will help protect your finger. And uh, it does hurt. It does hurt. But this one, I think I have uh, Teresa's name on it. Yep. Teresa Church. So, uh this is nice and 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 technically i just use it without the the handle and i do good with it too so uh, i don't have a problem holding on to that uh some some people might and if you do then you want to get one with a handle on it and uh and it's like a puzzle this 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 cork comes out and the and the hook is on the other end of that cork it's how that is how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more blue around the outer edge, another layer, and get a little wider. Don't need any down here because this is the edge of my felt. But I want to get my my shadow, my outer rim a little wider. So let's try that. Tack that down. It's starting to look take shape. It's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. So I can take and put that up and get my get my uh, this one out. So you're you're felting three times faster with the three needles. Let's see what y'all saying here. Oh, Sharon did a bunny and posted a picture of a bunny that she did yesterday. And let's see what else. Yes, you can get a beginner's kit of this felting supplies and things. Oh, this uh, go online. Uh, uh, Amazon, I'm sure has it, or eBay. I, I would go with uh, something faster like an Amazon because I think eBay they can take up to six to eight weeks to get stuff. But you could also get onto Walmart.com. And they are affiliated with some online uh, stores. And they'll have, and you can get a beginner's kit anywhere from $10 to $20 and in, they're in between. And, uh, and you can, uh, you know, you can try all those places. And they, some of them come with a little uh, starter kit of wool. I would get the, the needles, the pad, you need a pad, and you need some wool. 
basically are the three things that you need. If you get a beginner's kit, you'll get these little finger cots. And you might get some other little pokey tools like this one. And this is good to have if you're... Uh, I've never used this tool yet. But this is good to have when you're... Uh, when you're doing detailing in dolls or figurines and things. So that's what I would do. And I've been doing this for a while. So uh, I have, uh, I didn't start out with a beginner's kit. I started out, I remember buying my needles on eBay. I found them real cheap. Of course, this was like three or four years ago. And I got, I got all these, I got a whole bunch of needles and I've given them all away. This is all that I have left. And, um, and then I went and I found my wool at a place called mohair and more. And mohair is a type of sheep. And that's what this pretty wool is. It's mohair wool. And it's the popular to buy uh, for your felting. A hobby but you can get some wool at Hobby Lobby and it looks it looks like this and it's called roving wool and it's combed but it's it's with a, a different type of sheep and it's cheaper um, but you can still you can still use it and they have just a, a basic seven collars they don't have a whole lot of variety but the mohair and more is much softer and it's prettier <laughs> but it's more expensive and then you then you can buy things like this which is core c-o-r-e core wool and i use this for the insides of my uh stuffings like if you're doing dryer balls then you want a cheap wool in the middle and then you put your pretty wool on the outside and you're economical that way. And the, the core wool is, um, in, it comes in an ecru, and I use this for my white. I do have some snow white wool uh, on my shelf over here. I'll have to get it out and show you. And it's snowy white, it's paper white. But I use this a lot uh, for the whites, and I don't mind it. So I'm gonna start using some of this. And it's not necessarily combed out um, all the way. So if you take a little bit of it off, you can um, you can finger card it, or you can use your brushes and comb it uh, and do the carding like you would professionally. So I'm going to go in a corner in the circle again with this uh, white in the middle, and we're going to start doing the swirl in the middle now. So I got a bit a little bit of white down. And I'm going to keep I'm just going to keep layering it down till I'm satisfied. Um, looking at the picture, uh, you know, I'm trying to get this look. And I, I think I will go ahead and get my white out. I've been cleaning in my room a little bit. Okay. Here's my now, I got this wool from someplace else. This came from um, Lisa. I bought some wool from her one time. And that's the only white I have. I use the Ecru white that I know of. That's the only white I have. I've got some other collars on here. If I need them, I got the whole rainbow. <laughs> but it, you know, I I collected, I bought all my wool like over a period of two years, and uh, and sometimes they would have sales, and so if they had sales, I instead of buying one pound, I would buy two or three pounds if it was you know a, a sale price, 
and, and it was moharinmore.com uh, in uh, in Texas. They live in Texas. And if you don't know what you want and you, you have to describe it to somebody, they will talk to you on the phone firsthand. And uh, Miss Elizabeth will take care of you. <laughs> I think that's her name. Louise. Her name's Louise. Louise, uh, she'll answer the She usually answers the phone. And uh, I support them. I really like... Uh, she, you know, I've talked to her a couple times and asked her questions and stuff, and she was happy to help, help. So anyway, I'm still doing my circle. And now I'm going to try to get the middle. But I really think it's fun. There are lots and lots of videos. Highly recommend if you're if you like this project, go watch some videos and and binge on some videos. Um, there are some some online people who um, places that you can watch them do this live every week or every other week or so. And and uh, I can't remember the names offhand but you'll find them when you when you go when you type in felting in you in youtube you will find the places and you can also try the goop and just google it on the regular internet um felting and and some of the th icons will come up and uh i'm not you know i didn't invent this i'm i learned everything i know online I did not have any classes. I did not uh, buy any books. I did everything. I learned it. I learned it on YouTube, and I I saw it on YouTube first, and I and I continued with you know learning it from YouTube. So I'm using the Snow White for the center, and I, I might have to do several layers to cover that green up, and that's okay. Whatever it takes. Layer, little light layers and it kind of looks like a cobweb but when I get done it won't and I'm going to try to do real real fine layer uh, real thin flat layers like this instead of the strings and see if I can cover up some of those strings we'll get her done we'll get her covered up And I've got a little bit of feathering going out now on the blue. And I want to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to allow that to happen. I want it to show, I want it to see a little bit of uh, swirliness or something going on there. So I'll let that happen. Kind of making a nest in a way, <laughs> but it's the moon. It's a full moon, the winter moon. And you will find uh, you poke a lot of holes, but in a minute, those are going to go away. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one and see. And the only reason why you have a sponge underneath is so that my needles don't hit the table. Because you don't want to break your needles. So you have to work on a, some kind of a sponge. And uh, I've seen all kinds of products. Uh, that you can use and you do have to lift it up every now and then and here you're going to start seeing you're going to see the the uh, the spikes that the needles have punched through this this is what keeps the wool from coming off of the felt on the other side 
all of that is what we did tonight. And that's normal. And you have to lift it up off of your sponge every now and then, or you'll felt it down. And if you felt it down onto here, <laughs> it's hard to get off. So you want to um, lift it up every so often. Um, I've seen different kinds of of little sponges you can use upholstery foam i have one over there that i covered with some fabric uh and it was just some foam rubber from the garage and it was the upholstery foam it wasn't the uh it has to be a certain type of foam so that your needle will go in without breaking um the kitchen sponges uh that have the little green scrubby on the end of it one side of it they work um but but if you do a lot of felting on it, um, they tear. You know, the needle does rip into the foam rubber. And then you also get a divot. And I've got a divot on this one. You see that divot there? That's because I do everything in the middle. <laughs> so if I share the, share the rest of the foam, if I'm just going to be working on the white, I'll go over here and use this high spot over here. And then you can buy some that have rice or beans, uh, different products on the inside of your bag, uh, your pillowcase, and you felt on on the uh, the grains. Uh, but I, I haven't done anything any of the rice uh, because I feel like I'm going to be just living rice dust, <laughs> and I don't want any food in my craft room. Because I don't want any bugs. I live in Florida. <laughs> but there's something about, about that that I just kind of weary about. But it's really, really fun to do. And it's really, really fun to make stuff. And I've made all kinds of things. And I showed them in previous uh, videos. So I'm starting to see that my lines are covering up and you can't really see my lines so much now. So I'm getting there. So you just, you do this until you're satisfied. This is all up to the, it's all up to you now, you know, how you want this done. Play with it until you get the right texture down. And uh, you will, you will, you know, you'll be okay. You just figure it out how you want to, how you want to, how you want to do it. You see, if I pull off little tiny uh, pulls, I get real fine, real fine tips over here. And I think I like it. So the next thing I'm going to do is the, the black. I guess I'll start doing the black. This is my moon. So I'll start doing the tree limb. Get this down. And um, if you can't really tell uh, about colors and things, I I love I love blending and mixing my colors. And um, I don't know if you can tell the difference between there's three different shades here. And um, I'm going to try this lighter shade. And um, and I'm going to put it. I'm going to put a little bit in between in the center 
of these uh, the white and the blue and we'll put this real light and I'm going to use the tiniest little little tufts there and I'm going to put them on those out layers of those of the white I'm going to try not to make lines so you can place this right where you want it and make make something pretty I'm not liking the the white that I did so I'm gonna see if I can't cover it up you can change it you can fix it let's put a little bit more felt on it And I can take this other one. This is the third, the third collar. Just playing. And if you have white, you know, you could always mix your white and your uh, blue together to get a light blue. Everybody doing okay? Hi, Cheryl. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> okay, I'm missing a lot, I'm sure. Uh, I'm in the zone. Oh, you got a bag of secondhand wool on, on eBay. That's great. That's great. No, I did not have lessons. I'm self-taught. I learned everything on YouTube. I picked it up. Oh, thank you, honey. Look what Joe brought me. <laughs> oh, boy, another box. Is mm. that the only one you got of that one? Mm -hmm. I had stuff in there. I just Aww. took it out. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. I've, I've, I've really cleaned a lot up in here today. I can tell what I've done. I had a, I did, I did good today cleaning in here. I'm trying to, that's all I can do is try. So anyway, um, I do recommend you uh, do a binge day of YouTubing, <laughs> of YouTubing. I it's like snow tubing. Little sister Cheryl. Hi, Susan. How are you? And see, I've never done this scenery before, so I have no clue as to what I'm doing. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> oh, Rebecca did a penguin today. It was so cute. She started it the other day, and she was working on it. That was really cute. <laughs> no, don't don't uh, don't have a, a glass of beverage and drink at the same time with the needle. Not without your finger caught. That probably would not be a good idea. You won't feel it until you do it twice. You'll have finger you'll have sore fingers. And it 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 doesn't kill you, but it is to, it 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 smarts. It's, it, you know how you, I'm sure that all of us have been stuck with a pin or a needle at one time. That's what it feels like. <laughs> but I always say, watch where your fingers are. Don't watch TV. Do not watch TV while you're doing this. Don't read chat. Just hi, Barb. You get Glad somebody to see you got in there. Get somebody in here to read chat for you. That's what Joe's I've been job out in the is. Garage with the dogs. Did they get in the doghouse? 
No, oh no, no, I've been out in our garage. Oh, the other garage. Yeah. The attached garage. Hi, Barb. Melissa, Rebecca. So can you tell that I've got, you know, two or three shades on there blending out? You can see some blending going on. Mrs. Smith. And barbecue chicken pot pie sauce. Hi, Barbara. Hello, just wondering. Barbara, we need a joke. It's time for a joke, Barbara. She's going to be, I'm going to elect her to be our joke teller. A joke teller? Yeah. Cool. She comes up with some woozies. How do I find that book from last year? Do you know what kind of book it was? What was the picture on it? The white book? You go to last year's YouTube and look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Janet. I didn't say hi to you. I don't know. Maybe I did, but you have a good sweet dreams, darling. Oh, Barbara just had a te test for COVID. Okay. The white polar bear. I got it. I got mine at a secondhand store at a wall at a at a Goodwill store. And and the name of it is vanishing world we're going to paint in this one in just a few minutes we're going to paint a picture in it and it's called the vanishing world the endangered arctic you'll have to have your mom help you melissa write this down and let your mom help you but it's the vanishing world the endangered arctic and I don't know how much longer we're going to be working in it. We're going to have to find a new book here pretty soon because uh, it's getting kind of fluffy. <laughs> and I did uh, I did take mine apart and put in uh, a bigger spine. I took the spine apart. Haven't had... I was talking about getting uh, poked with a hard, hard object. Yes. Um, this is a needle. <laughs> These are needles. And there's three of them here. And then there are one, two, three, four. I got seven here. It has room for one more. Yeah, these are needles. <laughs> You don't want to uh, uh, move your eyes away from your project as you felt. We, we run a clean. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> I couldn't figure that one out. Did did spell check do that? Oh my gosh. Spell check changes our words all the time. <laughs> so anyway, Barbara, you tell good jokes. So tell me a joke. <laughs> tell us a joke. Let's get laughing. We need some giggles. Has to be a clean one. Tell us a joke and make it double emphasis on it. Surely you've got some kind of a snow joke or something about. Oh, you had a joke last week, or did you? Who told you that? Which one was that, babe? I don't know. It's really uh, unique. Well, thank you, honey. I'll just put it that way. Well, I don't know if you don't tell me. I, I can't remember it. It was like. I'm always doing some kind of trivia or something. So anyway, this is looking good. I'm I'm kind of liking what I'm doing. I'm going to try to put some more on this outer band again. Uh, 
No, the um the other day, Tuesday, I was in the whale book in the uh, the whale book. I was in the white uh, the UK book, and we were doing the UK, and I was talking about whales, and I was pointing out where whales was, and and Barbara says, no, the whales are in the ocean. <laughs> And it was the place. <laughs> that was funny. I thought that was really funny. And so I'm putting another layer of the dark around the very, very edge. Yeah, that's that's one thing you got to do is concentrate what you're doing. And uh, so know. it looks good. OK, thank you, Susan. What Barbara says, I do not use profanity. There's enough perfectly uh, good other words. That's right. <laughs> You're fine, Barbara. I st I love you anyway. That's okay. Well, it pops up for me to view it, to either let it to be seen or to hide it, and I just went ahead and hit it. Monitor the monitors have uh, have uh, access to do that too. So anyway, this is my my winter moon, and I want to go ahead and do a little bit more on these four corners. Um, because I'm going to be putting in a tree and, and I, and I might go off the edge or something and, oh, it's not this one. It's, yeah, it is. It's this one. My tree's going to come down. So I'm going to try to add some more, uh, blue to the edge. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, Barbara was talking about having a shot done today. She had a sh to be tested or something. And and the shot got turned into something else. <laughs> Jane says. Blondie, blonde, Mickey, Minnie, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Pluto, Goofy, Donald Duck. And Sacramento technician. The blonde says, Mickey, Minnie, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Pluto, Goofy, Donald Duck, and Sacramento. The technician says, good grief. Why so long, blonde? Oh, wait a minute. There must be another part. Oh, it's a blonde joke. Okay. Why Why so long, blonde? The blonde says, shrugging, it says, eight characters and a capital. <laughs> For her, for her password. <laughs> Didn't you ask for my password? Well, there's eight characters and a and a and a capital, Sacramento. <laughs> it's a computer blonde joke. Do you know how you can tell? Now, now you know we tell blonde jokes, and we mean this in jest. You know, it's just a. It, it, we could even say, we can even say, uh, Joe, we can, you know, we, we, we don't have to say blonde, but you, do you know when, um, a blonde secretary has been using the uh, computer? You, you can find the computers that, that all the blonde girls use all the time. You can find the computers very easily. It's the, it's the monitors with all the white out all over it. <laughs> don't <laughs> that's that's something that i would do <laughs> that's not funny well oh, the monitor, monitor okay. with white out on it <laughs> typing for the, for typing mistakes yeah yeah okay. Okay. that's kind of funny that's an old one uh <laughs> But no, it's really not. I'm not making fun of anybody, really. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that anybody's ever done that. But I have. I have. My monitor, my big monitor on my big computer. 
I've gone and tried to use it as a touch screen. Like my iPad. I go up to it like I'm going to flip the page. And I go, oh no, I have to use my mouse. <laughs> I have done that. And how many of you girls, how many, I want to know, how many of you have gone up to the front door and used your key fob to try to open the front door? By pushing the key fob. Unlock. How many people have done that? I have. I haven't. <laughs> I've done that more than once. <laughs> Trying to open the door. Well, since we're all confessing now, ladies. There you go. I'm over at the <laughs> over at the sink. And I just got the milk out of the refrigerator, which is about four foot away, five foot away. I turn around and walk back over past the refrigerator. Open the little pantry door, and right before I grabbed the pantry door to open it up, I realized that's not the refrigerator. He was putting the milk in the pantry. And I was putting that milk in. Now that's called senility when milk you get the, old. Yeah. That's uh -huh. called old age. <laughs> now you're going to have to read so I can work this, Joe. I can't. Okay. They're they're talking to each other, and you're going to have to read every line. Okay. I have. Thanks, Barb. I appreciate you being in, in my club. <laughs> okay, Janice is like, it's pretty funny. <laughs> well, it is kind of funny, but just as long as you catch yourself before you do it and realize you're not, you just stop real quick and go turn right and you're right there at the refrigerator. But yeah, I have done that this week, yesterday. Huh? But we're, I had you know, a, I uh, had my boyfriend who opens the door. Oh, he's so polite. He gets sweet. So, anyway, I'm not going to do a whole lot in the corners, but I just wanted to make a little something. Talking about key fobs and stuff, I, I think that the cutest key fob. Uh, Nobody's ever done the, the front door thing. Nobody's ever done that. <laughs> the key to ski fob joke is the, the one when the, the lady parks her car out in front of her house and and she and she's on a, a busy uh, street where everybody parks their cars and it's it rains about I mean excuse me it, it snows about four and a half to five foot. And she goes out the next morning, starts cleaning her car out, and she pushes her button, and it, the lights go off and on the horn bank. She starts cleaning the car off and shoveling it out. And about 15 minutes, 20 minutes later, she realizes that it's her next door neighbor's car. It's not hers. So, I could see doing that too. That could happen. It's a lot funnier than the joke, I, you know. Oh, you're watching on YouTube. Joy Mitchell Carr says, no, nope, but I have tried to crank my car the seat belt once. You tried to do what? To crank, her car, crank my car with the seat belt. How do you crank your car with the uh, seat belt? Yeah. Oh, I tried to crank my car with the seatbelt once. Well, you're going to have to explain yourself, Joy, because I don't understand that one. Crank your see, car. There's a lot of little things. Yeah, that's, that's a common thing in the cars and stuff because... Like, have you ever grabbed your uh, brake release and it'd be your hood? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I think I've done that before. I have gone out to the kitchen to get a second cup of coffee 
and then lift your coffee cup behind beside the green chair. Uh, oh, see. Yeah, that's a good one. Man, you used to talk about coffee. That's normal. <laughs> Definitely want a cup of coffee now. No, I've got a Sprite. You can open my Sprite. Okay, got just one and a half more corners. Then I'm going to do the tree. How are we doing on time? 717. There's something else I do occasionally. I can't, I can't I don't remember. It's looking pretty good. I'm kind of happy with it. Mina says she's done the same thing, but she likes tea. She had it, did it with tea. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, just get another cup. Well, Beth does, every, <laughs> Beth does all of her stuff when she takes it to the, the bedroom. She'll put it on the, on the, or I'll put it on, the, I'll fix her a cup of tea, and it'll be there two hours later. Joe fixes me tea and coffee in the mornings. Most of the time. I'm telling you, girls, he's a keeper. We had, egg, we had uh, eggs and um, ham today. Yep. It was good. Oh, a nice toasted bun. Round bun. Hot dog. A hamburger bun. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got four collars. I've got this collar and I've got this collar, actually five, and then I got the white. And I used the snow white, which I don't even see hmm. anymore. I must have used it all. Snow white? Yeah. Uh, anyway, but I don't know if you can tell, but I've got I've got two or three shades here on this layer. And wow. then I have and then I have the white in the middle. And um let me find that white. Now you need a when you do something like that, it would make it nice if you had a, a cookie cutter ring and to keep it all in one thing to make it like a, a, a Well, I tell you what, when the next time we do this, I'll let you demonstrate how to do that. I don't know nothing about that, and I probably have sprinklers all in my fingers. I don't want no I never played that game. Putting the doing the knife between your fingers. <laughs> That's called you need a cup of coffee, That's Cheryl. Right. Doing that. you really need a cup of coffee. Yeah. Oh, it's really bad. I, I'm I'm confessing. You can't walk. You're just walking around in the kitchen. <laughs> so now I'm really getting some really really fine tufts here. Really fine. And I'm going to lay them down in my center here so that my white is really white. And I'm just really just fine, fine layers of this white. I really want this to be real, real white. So my black will, my birds will show up. And then I'm ready to do the black. Girls, you know, you're really in trouble when you have the definition of multi-casting uh, in the kitchen, and it's really only two things. And I'm not saying turn the water off, turn the water on, but I cleaned the coffee pot out. I'm fessing up again. I cleaned the coffee pot out today, uh, rinsed it out before I made the coffee this morning. And I always like to rinse it out and then pour it out. 
make sure everything's out of it. Well, when I did, I put the lid back on it and I set it on the side of the over on the other side of the coffee maker, you know, about a foot and a half away. And like I said, I was making some, some food also. And evidently when I did, I had already started the coffee pot. And so I'm sitting And the there. coffee pot wasn't in the pot. Yeah, the coffee pot wasn't in the holder where the coffee pot should have been to catch the coffee. And I heard this noise going. And I went. Spilling out. Yeah, it was. It was. Overflow just, coffee grounds. Yeah, no, not coffee grounds. Just the coffee, coffee itself. And so, but just luckily, the, the, the coffee maker we have has got a, a half inch catch. Oh, a tray. A tray in it, uh, the bottom where it sits. It does. It's the only one I ever had that didn't have a heater on the bottom of the coffee pot. And I hate it because yeah, I'm it not doesn't fond heat, of it. heat the coffee up after about four or five but, hours. But the container is like a thermos. Yeah, the container stays stainless steel and it's insulated. So once you get the hot coffee in there, it stays good for a while. But if you don't put, <laughs> if you don't put the coffee pot underneath of the the, the, uh, the filter, it'll never get to it. Okay, I'm liking that real well. Yeah, it looks much better. So now, what I'm going to do is use my black to make the tree. The branch. Or the tree. The tree branch. How about that? So here's my black. I have pulled the coffee out before it was done brewing. Sure. <laughs> well, that's when you got those sneaky peak sneaker sneaker cup pots. What's her name? Cheryl. Is it Cheryl? Cheryl. Oh. Yeah, her name's Cheryl. Where's Joyce is not in here today, is she? Sister. Teresa oh. is sick tonight. Oh, sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we keep Teresa, yeah, we keep keep Teresa in our prayers. She's not feeling well. She's got something going on. So here's my tree limb coming down. So there we go. So I'm just going to pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just pretending. And I'm going to try to make this branch straight right there because that's where the birds are going to go and then the tree goes up here this is a rough draft here i'm not finished so leave me alone joe he wants to critique me. I just know he no, does. No, I'm not. I just know he does. Looks like it's a hairy situation. <laughs> it's a hairy situation. That's right. And I'm going to go with my single needle. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, I'm comfortable with my single needle. Thank you, Susan. She needs our blessings here. And in prayers. So there's the first one. You see it? I think this needs to be, since they're sitting on here, it needs to be sturdy. We want to make a nice, sturdy tree limb for a couple. Couple birds. Beth and Joe sitting in the tree. K I S S I N G. How many kisses did he give her? 
many picks. Jesus. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I thought we were birds. birds. <laughs> Praying for Teresa. Okay. Uh, now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do, I think I'm going to just go ahead and make the birds now. So, I'm just going to lay one tuft down here and one tuft over here. So, let's start with this one. And we're going to make a little round head. And then we're going to make the neck, kind of a, the neck of the bird. And then the body of the bird. This is really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I would... Uh, I, I can give you an eagle report. I told you all that I watched an eagle live eagle camera that's uh, in uh, Fort Myers. It's on the Gulf side of the state. I'm on the east the east coast, and uh, there's a live camera uh, video for the Southwest Florida Eagle Cam is the name of it and you can go to youtube and watch the live eagle cam if you want if you're interested in watching the eagles and they have a 24-hour surveillance on these eagles and uh and they've got these infrared uh lighting at night so you can see you may not see the whole bird but you can see the shadow you know the shadow of the bird anyway they had two two eggs and they had two eaglets <clears throat> but the eaglets got eye infections oh, and gosh, so yeah. they they confiscated the the eaglets from the nest they could tell that the eagle's eyes weren't right and so they uh they go they go up and they 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 took the eaglets and they're in uh, a veterinarian hospital place and they have been treating the eaglets for like a week and they um they're real good about uh, trying to keep the eaglets wild and um, the, 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 the people who feed the eaglets wear a, a, like a, a, com, a, a mask, com, a combat mask that's got the leaves on it, you know, uh, a netting so that they can't really see a person's face. They just know that somebody's hand feeding them and, um, and they put a little towel around them like, to keep them together for their nest and now they're in separate nests they've got them in separate nests and their eyes are almost done uh healed and i think they're just going to keep them one day for measure and then they're going to put them back up into the nest with the mama with the mama and papa and uh, they will they will watch these uh, eaglets real close when they give them back because there is a possibility that they will reject the, the eaglets if uh you know if they don't so that's why they don't want to handle the eaglets too much they want to keep them wild and uh so uh they seem to be the mama harriet and uh, dad uh seem to be um uh, supporting each other they're sitting together and they're on the perch together and they're uh comforting each other and and it's really quite sweet the way it's happening and um so ho hopefully they will uh they will love the the eaglets when they come back so so we'll just have to wait and see did they take them out while they were there or not yeah. there well uh, probably when they were they were gone, they put they they have a bucket, uh, you know, a big truck with a bucket that raises you, people up. They get a bucket and uh, they go up, and uh, they probably wait for them to leave uh, to like go for food or something. And um, because they get they go out for food every single day for 
for the babies. Well, they go for themselves too, but they bring it, the food back to the nest. Yeah, they go all the way over to the river. Or... Yeah, there's all kinds of lakes and uh, places where they get fresh food. And uh, but they um, they they will get rabbit, yeah, turtle, uh, squirrel, snake. They'll get any kind of meat. Uh, and 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 it, that is the the law of the nature. It's nothing. It's nothing bad that they get those these, these type of animals. That's this is this is uh, this is the life cycle. You know, this is the way it was meant to be. And uh, so so anyway, uh, hopefully within the next day or two, they'll send the little babies back to the nest. And they'll and they'll keep a close eye on them. And if that if the mom and dad act ignore them, continue to ignore them or something like that, and don't try to feed them, then then they will they will go back and take the take them back. They'll take them back out. Thank you, Sherry. But uh, I like to watch them. I think it's very interesting and we educational. Watch them for hours. It's a boring. That movie. And, that and watch the grass grow. <laughs> That's about what you're doing when you're watching the grass grow. But the um, the eagle cameras, they have a great big setup, and they have more than one camera uh, that they look at, and and somebody is monitoring uh, the the computer 24 hours a day. So whoever's watching the monitor, you know, they they will pan around and look for the look for activity and that's where they'll they'll put the camera at or which camera they switch to so so they've got several monitors at the home base uh and i believe it's at a um, a real estate agent's office is where the base is because that's who watches them and uh that's who advertises for them but anyway it's it's very interesting and uh there's you know uh and they stay in the same nest year after year. They they don't go anywhere. They stay right there. Winter, you know, summer, fall, spring. They're in the same place. So uh, let's see. Am I doing okay? I'm not real happy with that tail, but it is what it is. And I could pick all that back out and try it again. So this one I'm going to make. See if I can't make another one right beside. Bird number two, and then I'm going to do the rest of the branches and the flowers. I'm doing pretty good. How am I doing on time? If I don't, you know, I'll I'll do this until eight o'clock, and then we'll do our paint along. So you have to be real careful when you're scraping with your needle and not break your needle. You just want to do it just easy peasy. So here's the other bird. And when you get your wool on here, you're condensing it. You know, when you when you felt it, you're condensing the wool. What you got, baby? No, that's just looking so light now. He's over here running around. So anyway, <laughs> this bird's not doing looking too good. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit more. So are there any uh, videos that you guys ever watch? Oh, you saw it. the Eagles are having a comeback, Susan. They, uh, I think they have taken them off of the endangered, least, uh, endangered species. They were endangered 10 years ago. They've been endangered for a long time. Well, thank you, Teresa. She found the eagle cam. 
and it's the south southwest florida so it's swfl eagle cam wanted to post the national zoo panda can't but no link oh okay well we can go to the national zoo panda unexpected gypsy on youtube is that is that the gypsy that comes into our stream is that the same gypsy Okay, here's the other bird. I can still put some more on this one. I think I will. Looks okay from a distance, but now look at it close up. I've still got to fine tooth it. <laughs> I've got a lot of uh, markings, so I'll get it. I'll get it. Get that tail down here. Their shoulders are touching, so I got to make their shoulders a little bit bigger. I can do that. Make them like a heart, part of a heart. girl okay fixing their tail Well, I'm obviously not doing the tails any good. Not doing very good on the tails. This one needs help. That's not too bad. I 
Okay, a little bit more. Bigger shoulders. You're sculpting wool <laughs> with a needle. You're sculpting with a needle. It really is something. I'm getting there. They're looking good. Okay. Uh, oh, she's an artist in the UK. Okay. She's going to give us a link. Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Well, hi, Eagle. Uh, Eagle. Ha, ha, ha. I just joined you people. I'm from England, the United Kingdom. We, we like the UK. We have several friends from there. Are you an artist, Mr. Eagle? This is a crafting channel. Do you do any arts and crafts or paint? Are you an artist? Yes. Okay. What do you like to do? What do you like to do? Tell us about yourself. The American Eagle or the Eagle, white headed eagle, is uh, our national bird in the USA. Okay, all kinds of stuff and science. Okay, well, what's on your desk? What's on your table right now? <laughs> what are you doing? And how old are you? Are you in school? great okay so uh do you ever do any kind of uh handwork or painting just trying to get a feel of what you like to do Oh, okay. Are you into encaustics? Painting with hot wax? Oh, you're a techie. Pastels? Are you into the chalk yeah, encaustics? Okay, okay. I do the, uh, the fake encaustics. <laughs> I've done some work. Uh, with um, crayons <laughs> and the hot iron, yeah, and beeswax. That's pretty fun to do, yeah. You have to be careful with the encaustics. Mm 
Melissa says, I really know, like do, explain yourself, Melissa. You get a hot iron and you can use paint with it too. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> welcome, yeah. Everybody say welcome to Eagle. What's your first name, Eagle? Uh, I like to know everybody's name, at least the first name. We can call you Eagle. Eagle one or Eagle two. <laughs> we do all kinds of art in here. We're, we're mixed media. Mixed media is what we like to do, which is everything. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy with my tails and my shoulders. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break from them. And, and maybe go ahead and do some of these other branches now. This, uh, this type of work here is done with a needle and, um, oh, I didn't mean it. I just mean just a name that we can call you. You can give your first name out. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. You don't have to. Um, but to, anyway, um, the uh, what I'm doing tonight is called felting. And it's wool. I'm using wool, colored wool. And I'm making a textile piece. So I'm going to make a few... Uh, I'm going to try to make a few of these limbs up here because there's a couple of flowers up there. over to the uh, this other side of the birds if you look it's clear over here so I'll start there and go backwards up here and one down here about right there artwork um, it's not very very popular but it's called felting and you can get some videos on YouTube if you google it in YouTube or the internet you can get some videos that show other people felting different things and uh, if you're interested in it uh, of course you know feel free to ask questions and uh, We have been doing it, uh, well, I've been doing it for about three years, and uh, we've talked about it 
on my videos uh, time and time again. So we, we've uh, explained it. And you can get beginner kits to help you get started if you're interested in doing this type of thing. And, um, and I can show you some of the other things that we've already done. Uh, I've already felted. I can show you those. I got these right here. These are these are some other things that we've done uh, with this felting, and this was done in Jan the first week of January. We did this guy, did this one, and I put them in a book, and I made the book online. I kind of made the book online to show everybody how I made the book, and and I've got some pages in here, and I'm gluing them in this size in this book and i'm going to do it for a, a while <laughs> this is a, a ballerina and then here's an angel and uh and i've got more pages to and to put in more pieces so we're doing this uh felting thursdays is our felting days your stream is breaking up oh dear so uh, if you, uh, we do all kinds of artwork in here. Uh, Tuesday, uh, Saturday night, we'll play games. <laughs> and then uh, Tuesday, we will work in a UK book. I have a UK glue book. Um, I'll show you my glue book real quick. Since you're from the UK, you'll appreciate my UK book. Uh, I don't know if you're into just gluing, collaging, uh, eagle. But here's my UK book, and I've got, it's just a glue book of all kinds of things from the UK, and uh, people have sent me some things from the UK, and I've got, we've got other friends that watch us, but they're in bed. Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> it's late. And so we've got some familiar things in the UK here, and we try to to include um, all of the countries. What part of, uh, of the UK are you in? Oh, you're in love with Canada? It's 1 a.m. Okay. You're on East. Okay, Angola. Okay, well, I have a map right here. <laughs> Let's see if I can't find find where you're from. So I've got um, Crydon. I've got friend, a friend in Crydon, which is right below London. I've got two friends over there that, that watch me. I've got a friend over in Wales that watches me. And I've got several people from Canada that watch me. Uh, we got people from all over. I've got somebody in Sweden. Sweden, Gigi comes over and watches us. And and uh, Finland. I've got a, a girlfriend in Finland that watches me on the mainland. There's Aberdeen, and you said Ange, Angela, A-N-G-L-I-A. -A. Okay. Well, you're probably over here somewhere. <laughs> That's great. Glad to have you. We, uh, we we're pretty we're pretty casual. So next Tuesday, I'll be doing another page, and uh, I've been doing one every week. And I've got some things over here to put in my glue book that I haven't used yet. And uh, so if there's anything that you want to tell us about the UK, come back Tuesday. Oh, you're around in, 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 in. Of course, I can't see all this small print. This is the, the North Sea. 
And I don't see an end in. Because over here's C, D, E, F, G. Unless you're looking at this, this end, which is the north. Which is the North Sea. But there's a lot of places. It's a, it's a big place. You know, a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. The word Beth of England. Oh, 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 okay. In England. Okay. Okay. There's Holland, Norfolk. Well, let me see. You know, if I have to, I'll just have to get the... In the magnifying glass out. <laughs> this is this is now. Oh wow, I can really see everything now. Okay. This is so much better. Look, there's Huntington. No, it's hunting dawn hunting dawn. Hunting dawn. I'm looking. I won't give up. Around the end. Now there's two ends. Is it the E N or the N D? <laughs> there. There. <laughs> You're right there. Well, I believe you. I'm just going to have to say around here. <laughs> I'm trying to read the track. Neil King's Lynn. Okay. You can't get mad at me for not knowing my way around. I'll have to get a, 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 a thumbtack and put where I found you, if I find it. There's the Isle of Eli. Ooh, I want to go there. There's the islands, little, little tiny islands. Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm pretty, uh, I'll just Google the day on thing. You're not mad at me. <laughs> Good. No, I know you're not mad at me. We'll just go there. There, you're, you should be right up here. Here it is. So there's that. There's that one. You should be right up in here. And you know, it's possible that not every little place is on here. I mean, there's a lot of places. Let's go there. 
we could oh i can show images <laughs> i can show pictures of your town <laughs> This whole ball here is East Angulas. So it's this whole area. It's this whole area. According to, uh, there's East and then there's Middle. It's an area. It's, it's just not on this old map. See? There's east and then there's west. And what's that in the middle? Right north of London. So it's this whole area. Oh, that's fine. I, I got where you are. You're north of London. And and there's east of of Angola and wet and middle of Angola, so that's perfect. Yes, see we got you. I could put your pinpoint right there. <laughs> I'll make a dot. I can put a dot. But it just doesn't have those border lines. This is an, a very old map. Near the wash. Okay. Okay. Right in here somewhere. I'm just going to make a new dot. I've got you on there. Right there you are. I'm putting you beside the end. North of that. There is a. Um, a wash. W-I-S-H. A-C-H. But that's good enough. There's Holland, Souk, or Soak, Souk. There's the Ose River. Is it the O-U-S-E River? Kings Lynn. Oh, I see Kings Lynn. I'm going to mark Kings Lynn because you said something about Kings Lynn. So I'm just going to put a little dot right here. Are you close to the water? How does the water look? River O's, yes. That's where you are, right there. I got you. I got you. Someday, if I ever get over there, I'm going to come see you. <laughs> I've got a real good friend in in uh, Crichton. Um, and she she lives down right in down in there. We got two friends down there. The wash, uh, no, it was just a name. Um, oh, yes, the wash is a bay. It's like a big bay. It is. Can you see that? It's this big little square bay right there. I bet that's got some, I bet that's a beauty to, walk, to go see. <laughs> she means to say cried on. <laughs> what did I say, cried on? Yeah, that's what I mean. The wash is huge. I'm going to look it up. Let's see if I can find some pictures on it. I bet I can. The wash. England. The Wash Bay in the United Kingdom, listen up now, y'all getting a lesson, is a rectangular bay. Yes, it is. It's rectangle. And it's on the east coast of England where the Norfolk 
meets Lincolnshire and both border the North Sea and one of the borders is Chiriris in the United Kingdom. It is fed by the rivers Whitham, Willer, Welland, Neen, and the and Great Oos. O U S Oos. Oh, yes. That is so cool. Let's see if they got any pictures. Well, this is part of it. <laughs> Look at that sun. That has to be a sunrise. That's the sunrise. That's the east. Show all images of the of the bay. Okay, here we go. Here's some more images of the bay. It's got a like a rocky gravel beach. I live close to the beach, uh, Eagle. I live in Florida. What was it? So I live close to the beach. I'll show you my beach. <laughs> oh, it's not a nice place to walk at. Okay. A lot of mud. Okay. Well, the pictures are pretty. <laughs> I don't see a lot of people, so I can sort of understand. So it's really marshy. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. I don't think they do. I don't think England has uh, alligators. It's too far north. If you look at the map, <laughs> the world map, uh, Florida is down, down much southern part of England. Yeah, it's too cold. So, good question, though. Well, thank you, Eagle. I'm going to, this is going to be for Tuesday. We will be going through it and make another page. And um, so, I might have to find some things uh, around your area to put in the book. That would be nice. It's just a glue book of a variety of things. It's not to meant to be, you know, real accurate or anything. It's just a fun glue book. We like to do collage, collage uh, art in here. So now I've got to get my picture back. <laughs> Where's my picture? There it is. So I can um, do some more on it. And then I was going to quit about 8 o'clock and do a painting. So uh, I guess I can finish this up next time. Uh, next Thursday, I guess. That's what I've been doing. If I don't have enough time to finish it in one day, I'll finish it next Thursday. Thursday is felting day. But I've, done, I've come a long way. Look what my branches look like. They look just like they 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 look just like the the picture. Look, isn't that pretty close? A little bit different curvies, but by the time I get a flower here and here, I need a third oh. flower, and I can put I can put them anywhere I want. And then, uh, and then I have to make another branch down here and some more off the end of this one. So I'll do that next Thursday. We kind of got off the subject. We do rabbit trails all the time. Oh, okay. 
Hunston Hunston Stun is a tourist attraction by the seaside town. Okay. So, so I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit this one. And we will work this, do this again Thursday. And uh, it's a continuing project, which is what we like to do. I'm going to put this needle back in here. And this is a little starter kit. Um, and it came with a little sponge, this little sponge to felt on. And it came with uh, one of the needles and the and the finger things. But I put all the rest of my tools in it and keep them here at my desk. So I know where they are. If I ever move them, move them from in here, I'll be lost. <laughs> but this will be over here on, on my desk to finish up for next week. And now I want to get my book out. And I'm going to paint. I can paint this same picture. I think that would be fun. So I'm going to try painting. And I'm going to paint in this book. Um, we've been doing some collaging. Eagle, I can show you some of the collage stuff that we've done. Um, I don't know who you like to watch on, on YouTube. But um, there's a couple of girls. Uh, there's about five or six. Oh, there's at least 10 girls that we watch on the internet, on the YouTube. And uh, we, we, we watch everybody stream. And this is, a, this is a, a, a book that I found at the second hand store. We're real cheap for like $4. And so we've been playing in it. And I had to break the spine and make it bigger. Here's an owl that this was a game. We, this is called roll an owl. We rolled an owl, and it was a it was a board uh, a dice game. And that is uh, my dog Abby. Okay, settle down. Come on, girl. Come on in here. Uh, but this is a game. This was a game, and we're going to play this game Saturday night. I did find my owls, uh, my owls, my rolling. I told you I lost them. And I found them. And uh, we can do Saturday. I made up this one. Roll a fox. Roll a fox. And here's the penguin. Here's the owl. I found it. And uh, added some more to it. And I found I, I printed this one out. It's called Roll a Robot. Roll a Scarecrow. This will be cute for fall. And that's all that I have. So, and I think there might be some other ones around here. I can't remember now what we used to draw, what we used to do. But anyway, we had we started doing this um, last summer. We started rolling a, a Picasso. And it's a game. It's just an art game. So we'll be playing that. We'll be playing that Saturday. And this is a what we call a reverse altered collage page. We took this page and altered it and and made it into something kind of funny. <laughs> Cute. See. <laughs> Cute and funny. We get it in the picture here. And it's just something funny that we do. We collage. We like we take magazine pictures and and uh, we 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 goof off. And then sometimes we paint. We paint in here. I'm going to paint something right now. Uh, we did paint alongs. Yeah, we do paint alongs. And I will post the pictures that I'm going to paint, which I need to post this picture. And then um, we paint it. And then some of the girls paint with me. Good, goodbye, Eagle. See you later. <laughs> so anyway, the page I picked for tonight is this one. And I'm going to paint this, this over here. So all I have to do is, is put some white down. And this will probably go pretty fast. I 
think I'm going to try the fan brush. Yeah, we do a, a game, art prompt game too. So anyway, I'm going to try to swirl this around. So there's that one. Hey, Joe. What? <laughs> Shut the door, honey. <clears throat> Gotta have something to drink. So, um, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try doing a little, uh, a shade of blue. To blend the, the edges <coughs> of my moon. And see if I can do a little swirly thing here going. white to it do you know am I the only person that puts the paint on the page like that instead of putting it in a palette do, does anybody else paint like that I don't see anything wrong with painting like that <laughs> I just don't I just use the paint I need Devin was on at DD's Dee today. Oh, I'll have to go watch it. Oh, it was Dee Dee's birthday. Oh, I didn't get to watch her. I I um have had a little bit of a relapse this week on my sleeping. I've I've uh, <clears throat> I've been sleeping in till noon this past couple of days. So I'm off my good schedule. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to use a dry brush. And uh, go over the seams to blend it in and not make that so hard. That was fun. <laughs> uh, 
and I don't want this to be real, real sharp. I want it to be smooshy. So I'm just use. I just wiped my brush off and go around this outer line and smear it. And I think I like that. I like what I did there. I do. I like that. Okay. So now I'm going to dry this and I'm going to start painting with my black. And I'll get... Um, start painting the birds oh I, I guess I could post the picture if anybody wants to paint along uh, I can do that Now, where is it? Here we go. Okay. I put it on there if anybody wants to look at it. So now I'm going to get my black paint. And I think I will pour this one out on a palette. <laughs> I can do this one. All right. And I'm going to use a round, just an all-purpose round brush. And I'm going to try paint my uh, tree coming down. I'll be able to do a little better curving, curvies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Now the birds. And their bodies. I think that's almost, that's it right there. And then I could do the flowers. Okay, I just need to let that dry. Everybody doing okay? Everybody with the, on the wagon? Okay, so I need um, the pink. And it's a, uh, it's got a little bit of coral in the pink. I got another bottle. Okay, and then a green, and it's a limey green. And I will probably mix, I don't know, maybe some metallic green. Ooh, I can hit, hit a little bit of metallic on it. For fun. So. <laughs> sorry, Janice. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Okay, good night, Mina. Okay, honey. I know it. She starts early. Okay, honey. <laughs> I understand. So I'm just going to hit the dryer on these and I think we'll be okay to go <clears throat> with the uh, flowers. And it looks like we're going to have time to get into our coloring book tonight.
Now the flowers on here, they almost look like they are pieces of fabric, felt, and cut out. And so I'm going to try to, uh, I guess I could practice first and show you what I think I'm going to do on the uh, flowers instead of um, doing them like, like they are in the book or in the picture. Um, they look like they're pieces of felt, real, real felt on the on the canvas. And since I'm going to be in a book, I think I'm going to go. Um, I want to go flat. And uh, we'll see you next time, Mina. Good night. Um, I have a. I did some um, painting techniques. By Drewberry, was it Donna Drewberry, Dewberry, Drew, some one of those girls that did painting techniques, and they were like one-stroke paintings and stuff. Drewberry, thank you, Janice, and um, and I learned how to do a, a flower like this. Uh, And, and I can also do one with, um, in two collars. You dip your brush in two collars and do the same thing. And you have an effect on your flowers. And this is what I want to do. I want to do this one. And uh, so we're going to try it. Let's try it. Yeah, I used to watch her on TV too. <laughs> so anyway, there's a, a kind of a big one right here. So I'm going to start there. And I got a different shade on the black. Um, the white, the lighter color of the pink absorbed some of that black. But I'm not unhappy with that flower. I am really happy with it. And then I can do smaller ones by using a different paint, uh, smaller brush. So I'm going to continue to do this for a little bit here. I think they're cute. I like the two tone. And uh, another big one here. And then I'm going to switch to a littler brush. And these are just regular round tip, all purpose uh, brushes. I think it look cute.
That's good. And then I have another little brush. Let's see what that looks like. I could even go smaller. Like little buds. They could be bud, little budding. Okay, and I and now I got to do my green, uh, my green leaves. Okay. How's that looking? Okay, how's that looking? Uh, it'll take, um, hi Kate, it'll take anywhere from <laughs> a month or two, <laughs> seriously. Uh, sometimes um, I mail over there and I get over there in about two weeks. So, um, 
and and I live in Florida. Where did you where do you where do you live again, Katie? I can't remember. Um, I know that I know that I can get it over there within a couple of weeks, but then it took like two or three months to get a Christmas card from Australia. So, uh, yeah, I know, I know. So it'll get there when it gets there. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you if it'll go out the north way or the south way. So I'm pretty sure there's probably some more, uh, you know, ways to get to, to London. I'm not real sure. So do it, I think there's enough leaves. Do you think there's enough leaves? Okay, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I'm done. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this green, uh, metallic green, and maybe make a little vein. Down the center. Just to give it some interest. Yeah. Okay. And I can. Uh, let's see. What can I do in the middle of the flowers? Can I, I could put some dots. Maybe some red dots. I don't want to do too much, but I'm talking about tiny, tiny, tiny uh, pin drop dots. Tiny, tiny dots. The tiniest of dots. Just a few little, just a few. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Okay, I like that. Oh, well, happy anniversary. Okay, honey. Well, we're, we're, uh, we're going to stay on, uh, for another hour, I guess. I'm going to do some other things. We're going to maybe get that coloring book out. So, uh, I'm really happy with all of this. Can you all think of anything else that I need to do that you think that I should do? Date that. Date it. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I know it. Everybody's tired. I got a low group tonight. That's fine, though. I don't mind. I like it when we're, it's just us. <laughs> so, I think it looks good. And, um, And I have no idea what else to do on this side other than just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Jill. Hey, we're getting ready to do some coloring, Jill, so don't touch that channel. I'm going to uh, hit the dryer on this for just one minute or two, and then I'm going to lay it over here to, to dry the rest of the way. This will get it started because my flowers are kind of thick painted uh, because I got double paint, had double paint on them. Wasn't that the perfect page to do it on? So anyway, I have a Passion for Japan coloring book that we're going to paint in that. Uh, we're going to um, color in with my colored pencils. And I am using Intense pencils. So I did put a little bit of a, a shiny green in the middle of the leaves. So you might be able to see a little bit of uh, shiny in the middle of the green of the leaves. So that's all I'm going to do to that. It'll dry. I've got the fan going over here. I know what. Hi, Natty. What should I do? Should, I can make the tree come over. Should I make a tree come over and do a flower over here? I've got enough paint. I can make the tree come over. Would that be a good idea? I know. Or a quote. We could put a quote up here. Uh, uh, or something. The bird on the right looks lonely. Yes, I agree. Extend the branch, okay. Hi, Mary. We had soup for lunch. Woohoo! You getting hungry? <laughs> did the soup? Did the soup last? Mm -hmm. 
We had meatloaf, mashed potatoes. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that was and leftover birthday cake. Woohoo! I could get into that right now. I could really get into a little bit of meatloaf sandwich and birthday cake. <laughs> that would be fine. That really would. That would. When Nora scratches her head, she thumps the floor. <laughs> we should have named her Thumper. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. That's just Nora. That's our girl. Okay. I think that'll do it. That's what it's going to be. Thank you, Nettie. Now, this is, I think, called reverse collaging, <laughs> where you paint and paint a little bit with your collage, but I didn't do any collaging on it. It's called mixed media. That's what I call it, mixed media.
Okay, I'm going to just sit this over and let it dry. So, let me take a quick picture. Oh, I got to stand it up so I don't get a, a fan glare. Alrighty, Whew. my uh, Facebook page and uh, here we go, this is what we did, so I'm going to do one, two, three. So there we go. We got my room. We got my messy, my messy room in the background, but that's okay. <laughs> you got a picture of my brother on the on the tractor. There's my there's my brother. <laughs> He's on his tractor. That tractor is uh, as old as he is. That was my daddy's tractor. Yes, it did. Extending the tree did help. So there, I did that. Did I already post uh, part of my felting? I don't think I did. We'll have to finish it next week to be finished. <laughs> to be finished. We haven't finished it. To be continued. next week if i don't get it i might get a chance to do something with it okay so i got that in there on the facebook page so <clears throat> put this in my felting project I'm going to put this over here and let it dry and then I have then I have this book to do and I'm really I'm really glad we get to do it tonight because I've missed it Good. <clears throat> so, what I did earlier today is I did a yellow in this koi fish, and I am using my ink tense pick pencils. So I've got some other yellow and golds that I'm also using. So I've already used this one. Now I'm going to I'm going to switch over to an orange one. Is that the only orange? Oh no, I have another orange. I've got two sets of uh, two or three sets of pencils in here. I guess two sets. So uh, so anyway, the koi fish. I wanted to do it in a two-tone, maybe even a three-tone, if I could. 
uh, with different shades. And I have a, a, a gold in here as well. I should have had another one. Here it is. Um, I thought about putting a gold streak in here somewhere. But they're very orangey looking. And they're shiny, right? So... I just thought I would try to blend some of these ink tense pencils in and see how I can do it to make it look good. And I'm sure I, I have no coloring experience really with pencils. I, I've done very little with these, with these, but I do like them when I, when I use them. Of course, ink tense pencils is a different kind of a lead. The lead is um, made up of an ink pigment. And the ink pigment in these pencils will react with water and turn it into like a little watercolor. And once it dries, it'll be permanent. It'll be a permanent color, um, which is, you know, it's ink. So it's permanent ink. And uh, and I use a little water brush to activate the, the uh, pigments after I get it done. So I haven't quite decided if I wanted to do the whole fish. I guess I could I could watercolor the whole fish as soon as I get it all colored in. And uh, I did do another page in here, and we did the we did this tree, and it was done with ink tents. And then I did watercolor paint, metallic watercolor paints on the back, on the sky. So this was fun to do. I enjoyed it. So I, and then when I get ready to do, after I do the fish, there's water around the fish. And I'm going to do each one of these little waves in different shades of blues. And I think it will be cool. And this is kind of like a mandala. You know, there's a little mandala going on in here. Which uh, goes together with our Tuesday night mandalas. I had so much fun doing that, um, that cat the other night. So much fun. And I can always come back to this pencil, but I'm going to try a different shade. Of This is a yellow, but it doesn't say. It's, it's got a green olive on the end, but it's more yellowy than green. I don't know if I like it or not. I'd love to have another orangey color. I'm going to have to go back to that other orange. I don't see any other. Oh, wait a minute. Here's an orange. Let's try this one. This might work. It's in between. And this doesn't, this doesn't color like ink tints. I wonder if it is. I wonder. Let's 
this just tipped it out. It doesn't feel like a watercolor. It's not a watercolor. But it is a pretty cool color, though. I'm going to use it. Uh, I got a lot of pencils from my mom. My mom, you know, she used to color. And uh, I had a lot of... I had all of her old coloring books. So anyway, I'm coloring. Oh. Koi carp. The koi fish. Do you think the felting needs flowers? It, I'm not finished with the felting one. It's not finished. And yes, it will get it will get flowers, like I did. It said to be continued. <laughs> uh, it's not finished. If I finished it, I wouldn't have time to do this. <laughs> I wanted to get in the coloring book for a little bit. <laughs> I just like to do too many things. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. try another yellow I wonder what color their eyes are yeah their type of their type of uh, carp. Did I call them goldfish? Yeah, these are koi fish. These are pond fish. And they're big, uh, oversized goldfish is what they are. They're in the fish family. The fish family, yeah. That's it. That's what it is. How's it looking? Is it looking good? So I'm kind of going over top of some of the other collars with this pencil and I'm getting all of the white marks that didn't get colored. This helps go through all of the the whole picture gets there's no uh, no spaces undone.
So uh, what color would your eyes be? I might be able to even put some kind of a a red orange in here if I have a kind of a even a pinky uh, a shade. Uh, my intense pencils um, are the smallest. Uh, I've got lots and lots of other. Uh, colors in the uh, regular pencils but this is a a real pretty uh it's a coral pinky color and i'm gonna try adding some of it in here Okay, I like that. And it's going to be even more blendier when I get water on it. Okay, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl's, Cheryl is just, she's uh, always getting me. Oh, fish. Let's look at the fish. Have a little fish education class here. Here's a, boat, a Japanese fish. Let's see what colors they are. And I have seen all kinds of koi, uh, orange and white koi fish. That's neat. Let's see if I can see it. There's some fish. Those are pretty. This one is very pretty. Look at that one. These are different types of Japanese fish. Japanese fish. So does that mean the Chinese don't have any fish? <laughs> Here we go again. Getting into that Asian Okay, I think I got my fish done on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, water brush out. And just check it out. Let's see. Oh, I do have a gold. I don't know if the gold will show up. But I'll put a little bit of gold on there. I don't think it's going to show up. Okay, now let's try the, uh, the water brush. And whenever you change colors, 
like on all of this, I won't have to change the collar uh, or to wipe the brush off. Uh, my tip is uh, stained. The, the brush is made up of plastic fibers. And uh, but if I change, I will, I will wipe it off after I finish this orange and yellow. But I'm going to use the same brush for this whole fish. Isn't that pretty? <sighs> Gosh, guys. And, and I will make sure it's dry. And then when I do the blue, it will, it will have another. It won't affect the yellow because the yellow is, um, the yellow orange is going to be dried. And once it's dried, it's permanent. Can you tell? Oh my goodness. Here, now, I haven't done this part yet. That is pretty. So, uh, I, ha I wanted to show you, this part right here has not been done. Can you tell the difference? This one hasn't been done right here. These are really fun pencils, guys. So, uh, and I'm going to finish the rest of it. I don't think it'll go through. I don't see anything on the other side. That is pretty. And then I, I will wash, uh, wipe that brush off for the next collar. Be ready for the next collar. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to do a couple layers of the blues. And they're going to be random blues. So, uh. I'll just start with this color. And I got to follow the path. And see the greens, the lily pads. The gr will be done in greens, and then I get to do the flowers, and they can be done in pink and white and red flowers. <clears throat> Okay, I've got to go all the way around. I got to go back this way. OK, 
kind of got to take your time. <laughs> this one this one line goes all the way around the fish goes over here it's like a maze it does <laughs> it's still going it's still going It's still going. It's going to take me forever to do this. But it's fun. It's it's not boring. And when we get done with it, oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> but this goes all the way around the fish. And then it goes around this lily pad. And then it goes to the next page. And then it goes around this lily pad and around this fish. It connects to this fish. So that means I got to keep going, right? Oh, gosh. I just can't do half the page. I got to do both pages at the same time. And if I if I don't, I'll forget the this is called Copen Copenhagen Blue. Yep, it goes around this fish, this other fish. It's a never-ending song. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. Wow, that looks pretty impressive. <laughs> it's, it's a lot... It's a lot to do. It is. It's a lot to do. It's a double page. It connects. <laughs> okay, I did that collar. And the thing about this, um, 
ink tints pencils if you don't get all of the white it's not going to matter because the uh, when you wet it it'll 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 get it when you wet it so i did that one and let's go with the lighter blue uh this is more of a sky blue this is called blue frantic blue frantic it's a sky blue or real pretty turquoise so we're going to get in here but it's going to blend together the way this orangey yellow did it, when I get the blues on here it will and it's going to go on and on and on and on and on too every one of these do Okay, here it goes. Uh oh, we're splitting off here. Okay, one goes to the right and one goes to the left. Okay, and then this blue can come back. There's another piece over here. All right, good. It's coming along. Oh, you're talking about magazines. Yeah, I get free magazines from the library. 
uh, I don't know if my library is, <clears throat> they've been closed and I think they're open now, but I don't know if they're giving out any magazines yet or not. Uh, they had them on hold for a little while because of the COVID. And Melissa, ask um, if there's anybody at your church, they might have some old magazines that they can give you when they're done. You know, I could, uh, my, some of my neighbors saves me their old magazines. I'm moving along. Here we go. <laughs> moving right along. <clears throat> I got two collars of blues on there. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Okay, I did that one. I need to do this one. Alrighty. I, I know I'm not paying attention to chat because I'm busy watching where I'm coloring.
Yeah. My public library uh, gives old magazines out. They sell them. Oh, okay. Now we get, uh, they sell uh, books, but they don't sell the magazines. <laughs> so oh i've got to worry i've got to do his little these are part of the the koi fish is this part of the koi fish don't they have these little fins i got to do the fins so let me go back to some of my pencils Okay. Okay, that completes the fish. That does good. I'm going to do these two colors of blue.
I see. A green ribbon strand that runs all the way through it. My name's again. I signed up for the fancy clothes catalog from Sweden. Oh, there you go. Okay, Mary. I got two issues already. Aren't they? Aren't they? I hate it that they're dark. That catalog is a dark catalog, but I love the pictures in it. And I'd like to use, I do use the women in my art. I like that, Matt, that catalog. And I'll tell you another catalog that I got was called Sundance. The paper is so matte and thicker. It is. Oh, I've never tried in, uh, doing any art on it, Mary, but you're right. Yeah. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Uh, Sundance is another catalog, and I like it. <clears throat> I like the women in it, and I like the clothes. And it's really fun to use in my art. And I've got it right up here. And I think it's like one of those famous um, one of them actors. It's a Robert Redford mag uh, catalog and it's a free catalog good night sharon see you later
but the uh, the girls are just so cool in here. It's a regular slicky slicky catalog, but there's lots of jewelry in here that you can use in our art. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll leave this out for Saturday night, so we can I can show you how we put crowns. I use the jewelry for crowns and necklaces and and uh, stuff. But you know, I just like I like the girls and stuff. The collar scheme. And it's a free it's a free catalog. Just go to sundance.com. They even have furniture in the background. <coughs> Southwest, Texas. Yeah. I could do better than that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, if it was done in real textiles, it might be different. So, anyway, uh, that's a pretty cool uh, catalog. And um, I like it. I'll leave it out for Saturday. So anyway, I'm going around doing the blue right now. And you can see it's really coming along. You can see where I've stopped doing the blue right here. I haven't done that yet. But you could see the other that I have done. So uh, I'm going to continue to. I'm getting tired of working on it though. <laughs> I think I'll take a break. So, let me see. I'm going to take a picture of it and see. This is what we've done so far. And that's a good thing. At least uh, we can say we've been working. Here we go. I went ahead and posted that much of it. Then we'll have some before and after pictures. Yeah, it's a blue strand. I thought maybe you were couldn't see. Um, I did real dark next to the orange and yellow. And now I'm going to go with even, I'd like to go with a lighter blue. Looks a lot like it was. And then I'll go back to dark. Or even a teal. <laughs> See, I don't have a lot of... I'll go with a, with a teal next time. After the lighter one.
and I might be able to mix a green on top of it and make it a green tealy green. Ooh, that would be good too. Because you know me, I like to blend. I'm a blender. These are really similar. Let's try. And I can even throw a purple in there. I swear, this just doesn't feel like an ink tense pencil. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. No, it's not moving. That's not ink tense. Let's find the ink tense ones. Yeah, now this one's ink tense. It moves. It moves. Okay, this one and this one. And then I guess I'll do a dark one back in the middle. And then this one is right here. I am in the zone now. I can't. I don't want to stop. Well, I do want to stop, but <laughs> I'm afraid I'll I'll get off on my collars. It's one of those things where you can't stop until you go all the way around. But I am getting to the center of some of them. <laughs> some of them I'm getting to the center.
because I wanted to show you some of the some of it that you know I wanted to show you some of the swirl that I'm doing and then there's another dark And then I think this is going to be dark. But then I can do, I can, I'm going to stop after this color and I'll do some more of the white, the brushing, and then you'll get an idea. So this is good. Let me go ahead and uh, finish this line right here and I'll get the brush out. Okay, let me just, and then this is going to be uh, a dark, this little bit right here. This one. I want it to be this one. Okay, now let me get the water brush. I'll keep these pencils out so I can finish it. But I think I can uh, use the water brush and, and show you all the different blues. And when you're using a real dark blue, you got to do it by itself or you get dark blue on everything. You can go from light to dark, but not dark to light.
and I think that I've got like two or three brands of pencils in here. And I think some of them are more better. Some of them are better than the others. And their pigment is better. But it's like you're picking up watercolors and and uh, painting with a watercolor is what it reminds me of. It's real bold shades. You still on? I am. Oh my gosh. Well, what time is it? It's just 10 o'clock. I usually stay on to about 10, 10 30. Dedication. You girls are look, dedicated. Look at my koi fish. Oh, koi. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty. That is, that is pretty. Mm-hmm. You want anything to eat? I am. I'm gonna get off here and eat. What do you want? I'll just have one of those breakfast sandwiches in the fridge. Okay. That's soup. Okay. So uh one of the things with the uh these ink tinks pencils if you if you've got a little white streak or a little white spot the they fill it in and when you get it wet you fill in those little spots nicely Okay. Girls want to go out? Didn't have to ask them twice. They both got up. <laughs> yeah, we want to go. We want to go out. They go out together. Okay, I think that's, I'm going to quit right there. And I like it. There it is. For this session. Okay, guys. <laughs> well, there's Lisa. Lisa's in here. 
We've been collaring tonight, Lisa. Collaring with my ink tense pencils. And I, I have to say, um, I'm just a crafter. I just do a little bit of everything. So that's all we're going to do on this one tonight. I'll, uh, I need to go through all my ink tents pencils and take out the ones that aren't ink tents, which these two are not. I think they came from my mom's. But I think, I think these are, but they're not as good as the other ones, as these. I've got these two sets. They're, they're, I got this. These are solid wood. They're definitely ink tints. But I'll have to, I'll have to go through them and check to see which ones are, ones move and don't. And these don't. So I'm gonna put them back over in the pencil, in the pencil can. <laughs> I think I'm going to quit for tonight. We did good. We did good. I like what we did tonight. Oh, okay. I've already got this in here. I guess I could put an update. I could and I'm going to edit. Edit post. And I'm going to X that picture. And now I'm going to take another picture, hit the camera, and then I'll take a new picture and hit next and save it. So I saved it. I updated the picture. <laughs> I just learned how to, there was the old picture. Well, where'd the new picture go? Oh, who? Sharon. Oh, Sharon did a pillow. Look at this pillow. Isn't that precious? Isn't that precious? Bye, Lisa. I'm getting ready to go off, too. Oh, wow. Okay, crafty peoples, I've been tossing these huge containers because I haven't come up with the great use for them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't throw them away. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Use them for trims. Lace. Ribbon. What would you use a big uh, container for to, to store um, buttons? Oh, good. Everybody's been doing it. Yarn. Tons, tons. Anyway, she was. Th she says, "Okay, I've been throwing these big, these big containers out, and uh, yeah, the cans are for pencil holders." Okay, uh, or oh, a collage around cans. Around cans to match your room. Okay. <laughs> we gave her a bunch of ideas, crafty people. Okay, good. 
Here is, oh, that's not us. Okay, let me go back to my room. So, okay. I think I'm caught up now. Susan Ernest. Look what Susan made. She did this yesterday. Isn't that cute? That is cute. I love it. Okay, I think I'm caught up. I'm going to like all mine and I won't have to get back on. So, okay, guys, that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> so, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. We had lots of fun. Maybe I'll finish it tomorrow. <laughs> And then we could start another one next week. I got more to do. Uh, so anyway, guys, I will. I'll be back on Saturday night, and we're going to do roll a game, and we will do a um, another altered page in the white book collage, alter, reverse collage. So. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I like it when you all hang out with me. So, I will see you Saturday. If you have, yeah, keep true seeing your prayers. She was, she was feeling pretty poor, pretty poorly. She went to bed. She told me, I talked to her right before I came on, and she said, I have to go to bed now. And I said, okay, good night. So, uh, this is what I'm going to use for the green. So I will see you Saturday, if not before. If you all need anything, you know you can you can message me. And I'll see you. I'll see you then. Y'all be good. Be safe. Be careful. Good night. <laughs>